Today, June 17th, we honor Saint Emily de Villar, Virgin, foundress of the Sisters of Saint Joseph of the Apparition. She is the patron of single women. Emily was born on September 12th, 1797 at Gailac in southern France to a noble family. She was the oldest of three children and the only daughter of her parents. At 13, she was sent to the boarding convent but returned home two years later. Her mother had died and she was needed to perform the housekeeping duties for the family. Differences arose between Emily and her father when she refused a marriage proposal. She had made a private vow to consecrate her life to God as a virgin. Emily had a vision of our Lord pointing to the wounds of his passion, which moved her deeply and strongly influenced her vocation. In an attempt to repair the harm done by the French Revolution, Emily catechized the children of Gailak, a ministry which she performed for 15 years. When she and her brothers inherited their maternal grandfather's large fortune in 1832, she decided to leave her father's house. She moved to a large house in Gailak with three other women who were also interested in educating children and serving the sick and the poor. Soon, several others joined them and three months later, the Archbishop authorized the Abbe to clothe 12 postulants with a religious habit. 26 women took religious vows in 1835. They called themselves the Congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph of the Apparition and they performed works of charity, in particular the instruction of children and the care of the sick at home, in hospitals and in prisons. In December of 1835, the constitutions drafted by Mother Emily were approved. Mother Emily travelled extensively, sending missionaries anywhere that would accept them. This put a heavy strain on her inheritance which had been mismanaged by her financial advisor. By 1851, she was bankrupt. Due to the financial difficulties, the reputation of the order suffered. The sisters were so poor that they sometimes ate in soup kitchens run by other congregations. Mother Emily finally moved them all, establishing the mother house in Marcellus, France, where, with the help of the bishop, Saint Eugene de Mazenard, she began to build up her congregation again. When Mother Emily died on August 24, 1856, she had already established 42 foundations of her order. Four years after her death, her body was found to be incorrupt. Saint Emily de Villar was beatified in 1939 and canonized in 1951 by Pope Pius XII.